After the backlash that Oprah and The Rock received from starting the People's Fund of Maui, The Rock has posted a video responding to the backlash. Let's take a listen together and share our thoughts. Hi everyone, Alex with Empowering Survivors. And I've been covering the Maui fire from the beginning, since August 8th. Now, over two months ago, the fire devastated parts of Lahaina Town and other areas of Maui. And still covering and keeping up to date on the number of, of, of the death toll and the number of missing persons. Among other things, the People's Fund of Maui, which was started by Oprah and The Rock, have promise to give adult residents who lost their homes in the fire $1,200 a month until the fund runs out. So the promise is that each of them are going to get $1,200 for at least a few more months. And some of the residents are beginning to receive or have already received their $1,200 check. And we foresee that they're going to be receiving that for at least a few more months. So The Rock and Oprah received a lot of backlash because they basically opened it up to the public and asked the public if they wanted to donate to a fund that was going to give money directly to the residents, that that was one avenue for them to fund. And of course, lots of backlash, lots of criticism. And so The Rock has responded. He posted a video on his channel on Instagram, and we're going to take a listen together. But before we do that, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that we can be the empowering voices for survivors, missing persons, and those who don't have a voice. Okay, so here is The Rock's statement. Hey everybody, I got some pretty good updates for you regarding our People's Fund of Maui. Got some great news, uh, some awesome news, actually, that I'm very grateful to share with you guys. And the news is this. There are thousands and thousands of survivors, the families, they have now, over the past couple of weeks, started to receive their first round of funds. They're receiving their money. And I got to tell you, it, it's been the most the, the most gratifying and moving thing is receiving all the messages, uh, all the videos um, and the messages from the survivors, from the families, of course, who, whose, whose lives have been devastated uh, by the horrific fires that hit our island of Maui. Thank you guys so much for the incredible messages. I, I realize right away of what this actually means and what it what it means to all of you, as, as all of you have expressed to me, is that this is a step. And for many of you, it's the first step in getting back up on your feet and, and, and taking those first couple of steps of life and, and getting your life back and taking control back of your life um, and what that means. So thank you so much for your incredible messages. I'm so grateful. Uh, that you guys have started to receive your first round of funds. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge um, all the messages that I did receive because I pay attention to everything and I take receipts. I keep receipts. Is when we first launched the fund, uh, there was some backlash that came with launching the fund. And I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now. And here's what I have to say about that. I get it and I completely understand. And I could have been better. And next time I will be better. And I understand, you know, money ain't falling out of the sky and it's not growing on trees. And there's a lot of people out there who's living paycheck to paycheck. And I get it. And I know what that's like. I've lived paycheck to paycheck. Seven bucks. I know. I know what that's like. And when you are living paycheck to paycheck, I don't want to speak for everybody. I'll speak for myself. But I feel it's connected. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, I was easily pissed off and I was frustrated. And the last thing you want to hear when you are living paycheck to paycheck is someone asking you for money, especially when the person asking you for money already has a lot of money. So I get it. I understand. I'd never launched a fund before, uh, but I'm a quick study and lesson learned. So thank you. And I also feel that's one of the greatest things about my social media platforms and the transparency that we have and the relationship that we have, that we keep it real. If I do something and you guys love it, you let me know. Rock. We love it. Let's roll. If I do something and you hate it, <laughs> you let me know. Rock. We hate it. Don't ever do that shit again. Again, lesson learned. I'm a quick study. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and I will say that the most important thing about this message is 
the fact that the families have been getting their money and that they are getting back up on their feet. And why it's so moving to me and so important to me is that when we're down and we rise back up and we do it together, we become one. And when we, and when we become one, we become stronger. And in that, that is a reflection of who we are as Polynesian people. It's like deep in here, that's our mana and our spirit and our strength that we get from our ancestors. So I'm so proud of our community and our culture. I love you guys. Thank you. I can't wait to come back home to the islands of Hawaii. I can't wait to get back to Maui and see everybody and give you hugs. And I can't wait to get to my one of my favorite gyms in the world, the Maui Powerhouse. You guys stay strong. I got some gifts coming for you. Um, okay, Maui, stay strong. I love you. Aloha. So a few observations. He didn't actually apologize. So that might be one thing that people might continue to criticize him for. Um, so he definitely acknowledged his mistake. And he said that he's learned, you know, the lesson there. And um, definitely he's got that connection with his audience directly. And I think that that showed the fact that he spoke to his audience directly, I think says a lot because on the other hand, Oprah seems to be talking to on talk shows and talking to media and isn't addressing the, the, the backlash directly to the public, directly to the audience. And so she's still continuing to alienate herself. But The Rock did it this way, which is much more, you know, direct to the people, direct to the to his fans, to the audience. And so I think he's being genuine. I think he really gets it. Um, should he not have done that to begin with? I don't think they were actually asking people who don't make money or who live paycheck to paycheck to donate. I think it's just like a call to action, a typical call to action that anyone would make. Um, but of course, I understand the backlash that why are people who are millionaires or billionaires asking the public for funds? So if you want to donate and you are compelled to donate, then donate. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, we're all adults here. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're not compelled to donate, then don't donate. It's very simple, I think. Um, but that said, uh, the, the criticism, the backlash, he seems to get it and he addressed it specifically. And so I appreciate him for that. I think that we, you know, he who has not sinned cast the first stone, right? So I think that it was, um, I think it was good for him to, to address it directly with his audience. And so we'll see what happens from now. For me, the most important thing has always been from the beginning. They promised the, the, the survivors this money. Are the survivors getting the money? And apart from any reports that he or the media or anyone's making, people have commented on my videos and they've commented on my posts across various social media platforms that they are getting the money. And I believe them more than I believe The Rock or the media or the government. If they're receiving the money, then that's great. Those who applied are receiving the money. At the same time, some people who applied have not received the money. So there's still some work that needs to be done there. Maybe some pressure there on like, hey, who's applied? And if they haven't gotten the money, then what do they need to do to get the money, right? Because people are relying on this now. They're relying on $1,200 a month per adult resident who lost their home. They're relying on this money. So there we need to continue to put the pressure on. Uh, criticizing why they initially created the fund and asked the public to support. I feel like at this point, let's just focus on their survivors and getting them the money that they're promising. So um, another thing I just wanted to address also is that a lot of people are saying that they didn't actually put in their own funds. That's a, that's a, a valid point, right? They're, we're, we're trusting that they put in the funds. 
but they haven't actually shown any receipts that I'm aware of. They haven't actually shown any any receipts for for the money that they put in. So supposedly it's millions of dollars each that they put into the fund to start. And, you know, we haven't seen any receipts for that yet. But in any case, like I said, uh, I'm most concerned with are the are the survivors receiving the funds that were promised? And the the ones who are responding on my specific post are saying that they are. So this is great news there. And I'll continue to look into this, continue to ask the question, hey, did you, for those who applied, are you receiving the money? You know, and put that pressure on if we need to put more pressure. I think that's a great way to put pressure instead of put, instead of continuing to criticize Oprah and The Rock, I think let's pressure the fund to give the money as promised. I think that's a better use of, a, let's say, our outrage. If we're going to do that, let's do that. Because what we don't want is for people to not donate in the future because they're going to risk getting criticized or risk that backlash. We want people to do the right thing because it is the right thing, not because they're going to get any glory from it or because they might risk or not donate because they might risk this backlash. I think that, again, focusing on the survivors and giving getting them the support that they need to rebuild their lives from this devastating fire. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you want to join the Empowering Survivors community. We're a, uh, a group that supports survivors, missing persons, and those who don't have a voice. With that, stay safe, stay thriving, trust your intuition, and make sure to keep it empowering. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you.